Hello everyone. Thank you for joining Remote Sensing and GIS question and ISS session series. In today's question, we'll see how we can able to prepare average annual rainfall map. Suppose here I'm having five years rainfall data like 2016, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And I'm interested to prepare last five years average annual rainfall map. So this is the rainfall map of India, but this is not updated. But I will tell you how you can able to download the data set for last five years and we can able to create an average annual rainfall map. So you can follow the same process for any locations. So how to download the data set for that, you just need to go to CHRS data portal. Just go to Google and search CHRS data portal. So you'll get this CHRS data portal. I will provide the link in the description box from where you can able to access this website. So like you just need to select a portion which you want to download. So here different kinds of data sets are there. Okay. So like pre seen, if you'll see this, the 0.25 degree into 0.25 it is covering. Then this is a little bit higher resolution CCS. So you can able to see 0.04 degree into 0.04 degree. So we can able to download hourly three, hourly six, hourly daily, monthly or yearly rainfall. So to download the data set, here we just need to select this pre -CN CCS. After that, you want a daily rainfall, monthly rainfall, yearly rainfall. So I want yearly, so I'll select yearly here. So I just want to select a political division. Okay. So like we can able to select a political division if you want, or you, or you can select by country if you want to download for the country. Okay. So right now I will select here political division. Like I'm interested to download this for the Maharashtra. Okay, so I'll select a Maharashtra and after that you just need to select a year. Okay, for which year you want to download. So just click on the download option and I'm interested to download it from the 2017 to 2021. Okay, like 17, 18, 19, 20 and 21. This five years I'm interested to download and I will select here TIFF file and just click on the download option is there. Once I'll click on the download option. So here we need to provide our email address. Okay. So I will provide my email address here. And just click on the download. Okay. So just click here to download option. So the file is downloaded here. Okay. So just right click, show to folders. I will just cut from here and I will add it to the folder where I'm working. So in the rainfall folder I'm working, I will paste here. So here just right click and extract file option is there. And click on OK. So this file is we have extracted. Okay. And now this five years rainfall is there, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So let's, I will copy this path and I will go to arc map. So I will go to catalog and I will paste it here. And just click on it. And now you can able to see this five years rainfall is there. If you'll see the properties, so special reference is undefined. So we need to provide our special reference here first. So just right click and go to properties and we can select here edit option and just select WS 1984. Okay. Apply and okay. And now you can able to add the file. So see, we have downloaded this and we have added here. So if I'll change the color, we can able to see the things here. Okay. So similar way you have to do with the remaining files, just go to properties and select WGS-94. If you didn't add it into favorite, you just need to go to Geofield coordinate system, then world. And here is the WGS-94, just click on it, apply and okay, and add it. Again, I will repeat the process. So this way, I have selected the five years rainfall map here. 
for the Maharashtra state. I will just uncheck this. Okay. So this five years rainfall, what we can able to do? We can able to calculate an average annual rainfall. Okay. So to calculate this, we just need to go to Arc Toolbox. In the Arc Toolbox, there is a special analysis tool. In the special analysis tool, there is a map algebra and raster calculator is there. So just need to click on the raster calculator. Okay. So the file is coming two times. Okay. So what we can able to do, I will just remove this India file from here. Just I will remove and I will again go to raster calculator. Okay. So this five years file is there 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So we just need to calculate the average annual rainfall. If you'll go to chat GPT and if you'll ask him, okay, how to prepare average annual rainfall. Okay. So suppose you're having five years rainfall. So he's saying that if you're having a cheap GOT file, you can use RGS or QGS. So the formula is there that rainfall year one plus rainfall year two plus rainfall year three, four and five divided by five. Okay. So we are taking five years rainfall and we are dividing by five. So we can able to get an average annual rainfall. So let's, I will take a bracket 2017 plus 2018 plus 2019 plus 2000. So I'll delete 2020 plus 2021. So bracket close, then divided by five. So 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So five years rainfall divided by five. Here we need to provide an output location means where I want to save this file. So I will save in the folder where I'm working. So in the rainfall folder, I will save here by name a average rainfall dot if just click on the save and just click on okay so <clears throat> this is an average annual rainfall So this way very easily we can able to prepare last five years, 10 years average annual rainfall. From now I'm interested to extract a particular portion from this. Okay. So we can add a shape file and we can extract a desired location. Like suppose I will add here some district. So here in administrative boundary, I'm having district boundary. So I will add here. Okay. So from that a desired district we can able to extract. This is Aurangabad. I will just export this district from here. So I'm interested to extract this much of portion from the rainfall. Okay. What are the portion we can able to see? So this portion I will able to extract. Just go to our toolbox. And there is a special analysis tool extraction and extract by mask option is there. Just add this average annual rainfall. And this is an export output. It's the same as this boundary. And where I want to save this, I'll go to the location where I want to save this file. And here I will add as a ext extract. Just click on the Okay. So now we have extracted only for the Aurangabad district. Okay. So now to increase the resolution of this rainfall, we can convert this all the pixels into point format and then we can create an IDW. So from that we can able to create a high resolution rainfall map. So for that, what we can able to do, just go to conversion tool. Okay. From here, we can able to convert from raster to point. Okay. So each pixel, we can able to get the rainfall data. So just add this average annual rainfall. Then select a location. So add here raster to point and just click on OK. So each and every pixels we converted into point and 
in attribute table we can able to say i'm getting this grid code it is showing a rainfall of that point okay if i'll click here you can able to see this pixels is having a 956 mm rainfall is there so what we can able to do now we can project this point data okay and then we can able to create an idw so to project this so to project this we just need to go to because right now if you'll see this file this file is in wgs 1984 okay so we need to provide a projection system and this aurangabad fall in 43 utm zone so we can provide a 43 utm zone so just click on the data management tool projection and transformation a project tool is there so just select this raster to point and i will provide here this raster to point i will provide as a prj that is a projected raster to point and from here i will select an utm zone projected coordinate system utm wgs984 northern hemisphere and i will select a utm zone 43 just click on ok so here it is converted into projected file just right click go to properties and now you can able to see it is in projected utm zone 43 okay so now what we can able to do now <clears throat> we have this boundary and we are having this point each point having a rainfall value so we can go with the idw so just click on the spatial analysis tool in the spatial analysis tool there is an interpolation technique is there if you want to know what is idw and all that i have already prepared a video previously but you can able to check in the help tool where you can able to get the information about the idw so this is an inverse distance weightage method so <clears throat> we are getting the unknown point value from the known point value okay to get the information about the unknown place from the known place we call it as an idw so just click on the idw and here we can select this prj point here i will select a grid code and you add as a idw rainfall dot tiff and go to environment and we need to provide this extent export output processing extent is the same as my export output and i will clip it i will mask this here by using the same shape file just click on the OK and just click on OK. So from this, we can able to generate an high little bit. You will not able to see pixels, pixels here, more pixels, pixels. Because this file, if you'll see, you can able to see all the pixels here. But now we converted to point and then we did IDW. Now from here, we can able to use this map and here we can able to classify this accordingly five classes four classes we can change the color of this and now we can able to create a map layout of this so just go to map layout and zoom to particular level and then you can provide all the things like not arrow title legend scale bar all things we can provide from here so all things are in insert just provide a title okay average annual rainfall map just copy this just click on okay just right click go to properties and whatever you have copied just paste it here go to change symbology we can change the color from here then take font size accordingly we want apply and okay 
then we can provide a north arrow here. We can add lat long to it. Just right click, go to properties, select a new grid, label only. Next, 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 finish. I'm interested to add a little bit more lat long. So interval is one here. So I just go to add as a 30 minute. And I will increase the size of the label. I'll make it as a bolt and this left and right I will do as a vertical. Apply OK and apply OK. OK. So little bit on zoom I will do. OK. So now <clears throat> after this, what we can able to do, if you want to add a scale bar, legend, title, all these things we can able to add. So. To add these things, we just need to go to insert and scale bar. Take a scale bar you want. In the properties, we can select as a kilometer. So if you want to increase the size of it, we can increase. Okay. So after this, we can add a legend here. So I'm interested to add a legend. So if you want to reduce the size of it, this legend, you can able to see this is up to so many decimals. I just want three or four decimals. So I'll delete it. Just right click, go to properties. And from label, I will just select the format labels and select up to four decimals. And then now we can able to go to insert legends and next, next, next and finish. So this, I just want to edit, just convert to graphics. Again, right click, ungroup. And this I will delete. I will add as a rainfall in mm. Just move it little bit downside, just select it and make a group. So this way very easily we can able to prepare an average annual rainfall map. If you want to do more decoration, you can able to add here a base map. Then you can able to add so many things you can able to add any picture. If you want to add, then you can able to add. Okay. And now you can able to export this. Just go to file and export. So now we can able to export this here as a rainfall map and just click on the save. And this way very easily we can able to export in JPG or PNG or PDF file format. So if you are having any doubts, you can ask me in the comment sections. Thank you.